An exciting week of post-holiday hoops continued this afternoon with the final day of the City Construction Hoops Classic at Robert C. Byrd High School, pitting some of the top girls basketball competition in the state against one another. First in the third place consolation game, Elkins taking on East Hardy, looking to end the tournament with a win. The Tigers come out hot in this one, led by Celia Riccatilli. She scores a tough two here to put Elkins ahead 11-4, but the Cougars not ready to roll over yet. Emma Heishman hits the catch and shoot jumper as the quarter winds down. That makes it a four point game going into the second. Elkins answers to start the quarter, though. They work it around to Kara Bennett, who puts it through for three. Tigers open the quarter on an eight to one run, and then the lead reaches double figures here. A tough finish on the block from Autumn Lane. Free throw no good, but Elkins leads by 11. Closing in on halftime, it'll grow to 14. Ricka Tilly gets one from distance this time. Tigers lead it 30 to 16 at the break. East Hardy scores four straight to start the third, though. They feed it inside, and Taylor Strotterman scores the turnaround jumper. That makes it a 10 point game, but Elkins finishes strong. Lane scores four straight in the final minutes of the third quarter, including this jumper that makes it 36 to 22. Now, on to the fourth. Elkins takes its largest lead of the game at this point at 16. Riccatilli to Maddie Bellin on the break to make it 41 25. And the Tigers just never looked back. Elkins takes third in the City Construction Hoops Classic, 49-34 over East Hardy. And now we go to the championship game. RCB facing off with the defending Class A state champions. That's the Cameron Dragons. Bird scores the first four points of the game, though. Martina Howe with the steal and score. That puts the Flying Eagles out in front early. But Cameron fighting back late in the first. Ashlyn Van Tassel makes her presence felt here on the boards. She sticks it back in for two of her 28 points. And then Macy Neely takes this one down the baseline, gets the runner to fall. 13 to 12, RCB after the first. The Dragons take control in the second, though. Kenzie Clutter whips the one handed pass into Emily Dobbs for the one point advantage. The Dragons lead at 21-15 at the half. That lead grows to nine early in the third. They find Van Tassel inside. She powers it in from the middle of the lane. And now still trailing by nine, here come the Flying Eagles. Olivia Lowther comes up with the steal, takes it all the way for two. The deficit is down to four. It's three going into the fourth, thanks to a three-pointer from Howe that comes right here. Cameron leads at 29-26 after three. Free throw gets Bird back within two. And then how about this? Avery Childers scores to tie to bring it closer with seven to play. But Cameron scores the next five points. Clutter buries the corner three. It's 34 to 29. But Bird turns around and scores the next seven. Childers comes up with the steal here, drives into the hoop, hits the fadeaway jumper. That makes it a one point game. Carly Karatz puts RCB ahead at the free throw line. But in this game of runs, the final one went to Cameron. Just over two minutes left. Dobbs knocks down the three pointer to put the Dragons ahead 38 36. And it was all Cameron from there. The Dragons end the game on a 14 2 run and take home the City Construction Hoops Classic title 48 38.